Welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about the four division of COBOL programming language and discuss on the first division that is identification division. Divisions are at the top of COBOL hierarchy. They divide the program into district structural elements and there are four division in COBOL program. Please note that division name must be followed by a period or dot, just like section names and paragraph names. Some of the division may be omitted. However, the sequence in which they are specified is fixed. First division is identification division. This division contains information about the program like program name, author, etc. Second division is environment division, which contains the information about the environment. Environment means external resources on which your program is dependent, like files. Third division is data division. This division contains data description like variables, constant, etc. And the last division is procedure division. It contains the program algorithms. In Hello World program, we have used only two divisions, identification division and procedure division to tell the name of the program and the logic. These are the two mandatory division in COBOL program. Environment division and data division are optional and used whenever we need file or variables in our program. You will start your COBOL program with identification division line. The purpose of this division is to provide information about the program to you, compiler and the linker. Basically linker is used to link multiple programs. Under the identification division, you can write paragraphs like program ID, author, or date written to give more information about your program. Here is the sample of how you will write identification division in your COBOL program. You start with identification division followed by a dot. Here identification and division both are system defined keyword. Under the identification division, you have to provide your program name under the program ID paragraph. You will write program hyphen ID followed by a dot, give a space and then give a user defined program name followed by a dot. Program name is used to identify the program internally. This name may be different from the file name given to the program when it was saved to backing storage. The other two paragraphs is related to the author name and the date on which program is written. They are useful but optional. I hope you have learned something from this lesson. See you in the next lesson.